What's going on, y'all? You already know who it is. Today, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna talk about my favorite pieces of gear that I like to use whenever I shoot photos and or videos. Important thing to my photo is just being creative. I like to be different, using different pieces of gear to make unique and aesthetic visuals for you guys. So, we're gonna kick it right off. First thing that I use is this bad boy right here. So this is a Promis filter by Tiffin. Shout out to Tiffin. Sponsor me, sponsor me Tiffin. <laughs> what a Promis filter essentially does is it mainly softens your skin and it also blooms highlights. I'll put up a couple of my past pictures where I've used Promis. You can see like my skin is like super soft and also the highlights are like glowing. Sorry, Milo's bugging out, but the one I have is a one fourth. I also have a one half, and I also have a black Pro Mist one. Kind of the same thing as a normal Pro Mist, but it's way stronger. So a black one can might be like a one and a half for a normal Pro Mist. I believe so. Don't call me on that. Don't call me on that. <laughs> but yeah, so this because I'm I just really don't like my photos to be too sharp. Soften up the picture a little bit. Soften up the skin. Bloom the highlights, and that accomplishes that perfectly. So. Promised by Tiffin. Second thing, this bad boy right here. This is a ND filter. So ND stands for neutral density. And this is also of the variable kind. So you can change it to different stops of light. So what an ND filter essentially does is it allows you to control how much light comes into your camera without physically changing the camera settings right it's mainly used if you're like outside in really bright daylight conditions and you want to maintain your camera settings it's probably useful to grab yourself an nd filter this one is by polar pro it is the peter mckinnon edition the second edition and this is also the promised edition so he has two versions the normal one the normal variable nd and the variable nd with promised and this is also the second um, edition, this is Mark II. But I had to get this one just because I didn't have an ND and every time I would go on trips, we would vlog outside and the light would sometimes get too strong so I needed to grab an ND. This was on my crosshairs for the longest. I ain't gonna lie, it was a, it was a bit of a, a bit of a investment. It's an, I consider an investment anything that's like pretty expensive. It's, it's, it should be an investment, right? You can buy it on Polar Pro for $250. And this is the two to five stop, right? And then they also make the six to nine stop if you need that. But I feel like you wouldn't need that unless it's like super, super. I feel like it, unless you're on the surface of the sun. Third, we're just gonna keep it to three, three things today. Just, just small. I love using this thing. So this is an RGB light. Oh my God, he has the LGBT lights. I wanna say this was about $90, hold on a minute. Yeah, so this is the Godox M1. I just looked it up, it's like 109 on Adorama. You can change the colors, whole 360 degrees of colors. You can change the saturation, how bright it is. I wish it came with a light diffuser. This is the first light that I've ever bought that doesn't come with a diffuser. Usually it comes with one, but the reason why I would like a diffuser just because it's so strong. Even if you set it to like the lowest, it's still a very punchy color. No matter what color you pick, the diffuser will essentially do, will even it out more and it's not as saturated on the surface of whatever you're bouncing it off of. It's a really useful tool to be more creative with your photos. And I'll probably throw up a couple of pictures that I've shot where I have used this light and so you guys can see what it what it can do. So these three right here, RGB light, Promis filter, and ND filter. This is MJ Pippen and Rodman right here, right? Like, I need these three in my bag at all times, no matter what, these three don't leave my bag, obviously until now when I'm showing it to you guys. Don't worry about all that, okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to know what else is in my camera bag, maybe check out my what's in my camera bag video. I'll probably put it, put it somewhere on the screen. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys aren't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications so you know the next time that I'll post. Comment down below if you guys have any questions on those three pieces of, of gear. And I'll answer them for you. Hit that like button, yo. Hit that like button. Por favor, por favor, por favor, please.
it does wonders all right maybe instagram doesn't really rely on likes and tiktok or whatever but youtube relies heavily on likes so go ahead and punch that like button punch it as hard as you can you know bow <laughs> okay but yeah that's gonna do it for today thank y'all so much as always it's been your favorite filipino here peace